no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. My name is Kemi Adetiba. I'm an owner personality and director producer, and we are in Lagos, Nigeria. The journey getting into production has been a really long one. I started off in front of the camera, and I was always curious about what happened behind. I'd go off on shoots as a presenter with cameramen and, and then ask, what kind of camera is that? What does it do? How do you point it? You know, and eventually at some point I was worried about uh, my longevity in front of the camera. I didn't know how much longer that I had, that I had, and I decided to um, go for a course and I came back a director. <laughs> See, this industry is quite different. It's not like, you know, being a doctor or being an engineer where you do have to go into school. You do have to have a level of training, but you don't necessarily have to go like, I'm going into film school and I am picking up this camera and this person that I paid $30,000 to or whatever is teaching me all these things and I need to learn this so I can impact. It, it, you don't necessarily have to do that. Quentin Tarantino never went to film school. He just worked in blockbusters and I tell that to people all the time. But you do have to have some, it's, a, it's one of those industries where um, apprenticeship works very well. You know, just like hairdressing and things like that. But you do have to learn from someone that knows what they're doing. And another thing you need to understand is even after you do learn, you have to go out there and also seek knowledge for yourself. You have to go out there and also find a flavor for yourself. Now when people see my work, when people see my videos, people can tell that even without seeing my name on it, I can see a common thread, I can see a common scene. That's because I found my voice, I found my flavor and I impact that into my work. Now. I did go to film school, but a lot of what I have learned came after film school. Because even after I'd go out into, um, I'd go work on uh, TV projects or movie projects, and I go, please, 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 can I just work in your, um, your, uh, can I just bring coffee to the set, or could I work in the styling department? And then when we're on breaks, I go to the DP and I sit, you know, or the director, I'd be like, so what does this camera do? So what do you do this? And they'll turn to me and go. What are you doing here again? And I'm like, oh, I'm just bringing tea on the Spider-Man set. And they were like, you know way too much about cameras. But that's why I had a thirst for knowledge and I read a lot. You can go on YouTube. There's so many, so many tutorials on YouTube. And just like cameras, um, knowledge changes. People that were in the business 50 years ago, they understand like techniques and so many things have changed. Just always be thirsty for knowledge because so many things change. So you don't necessarily have to go to... Um, an organized school to be able to get into the business. Just have a thirst for it. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you actually have a skill to do what you're doing because it's, it's, it's one of those things where it has to be to a certain extent be innate. You have to be able to see beauty, to have an eye to be able to, to bring out beauty into images. And once you have those things, then you can just, you just have to read and then you just have to work on sets, bring coffee, sweep the floor, and then, you know, when you have spare time, go sit down with the cinematographer, director, and just, you know, shoot breeze, yeah. Um, I went into music videos, it was more, it wasn't something that I consciously thought about. It was one of those things, so I'm, I, I see myself originally as a filmmaker, and you just don't get budgets for films every day. So the thing about music videos is you get a budget and it's my little way in five minutes of creating a story. Now, people interpret music videos in a different way. If you notice my music video, there's a common thread in between them and it's, it's telling stories. And it's just my way of, of um, fulfilling that fantasy of, of, of making a movie, but I just make five minute movies. I think that's what it is. My favorite music videos, oh. The Michael Jackson, You Rock My World, I love that video. It is so cool. It's totally something I would do. It's exactly the kind of story I would tell. The styling, the lighting, it's just, oh, it's just, it's just absolutely delicious. I love that. And um, you see, I have a problem with people putting me under pressure, because like a gun to my head now, I can't think of any other ones, but 
if I have to say one right now, right now, it'll be ha it have to be Michael Jackson. You rock my world. I love it. Some of the challenges I had when I wanted to go into production was um, you have to remember I was quite established as an honor personality on the radio and television. So people couldn't quite put together me not wanting to be behind. They just saw me as a presenter end of story. It took me having to take a project on for next to nothing and proving myself and people seeing my name as director producer but I found out for many years people actually thought there were two Kemi Adativas there was the one that was in front of the camera and there was the Kemi Adativa that was behind the camera but I think now the confusion has been sorted out so my advice to people coming up in the industry is there are no free passes now if you are going to be called up to do something that you want to do you have to be prepared to deliver it's that simple now my advice to anyone would be create goals for yourself keep your eye on that goal and do whatever it takes to achieve it. Don't let anyone bring anything negative to your doorstep. If you're a woman, don't let anybody tell you about it's a man's industry that you're, you know, you're in. If you're a guy, don't let anybody tell you there are other people out there like talking about you or other people that don't like your work. That is their business. You always have to focus on, I call it um, Operation Face Your Front. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you focus on your goal and you run after it and you try and achieve it. My hope for the Nigerian film and production industry I think we've come a very long way already. There has been so much of advancement in the knowledge, techniques, and things like that. And you have to, you have to, you have to give them, you have to give them credit for that. Now we've gotten the attention of the international world. I think it's time for us to expand on that. It's now time for us to now go out and learn things. I think the problem is we tend to go, oh, we know this much. Everybody thinks that we're really big. We're like the third biggest film market. So yeah, we're cool. No, we're not cool. I think what's going to take the industry to the next level are actually the young people. The older people have set the foundation, they've taken to a certain level. Now we that are coming from all parts of Nigeria and all parts of the world now need to take the foundation and build on it. Get your hands dirty, go in there, like build on the foundation that they've already created because you needed that foundation. Nigerian cinema going back 50 years was absolutely amazing, I'm sorry. It was absolutely, absolutely amazing. I think it's, it's with the with the, the change in cameras. I think when we started going into HD cameras from uh, film cameras, there was a bit of a stalemate. That whole apprenticeship thing, you know, people started learning from other people, but they weren't going out and getting more knowledge. And the knowledge was getting stale. Now we, as the people now that are going out and we've gone to film school, that people are learning on, on, at the feet of like absolutely amazing cinematographers, even Nigerian cinematographers, is our time now to come in and build on that foundation. So I'm not talking bad about the, the Nigerian uh, uh, production industry anymore. I wanna get in there. I see so much potential. I think it's absolutely amazing. I want to get my hands dirty. You just have to give me money to do that. <laughs> give me a budget, let me do something. My goals for the future would have to be, I want to make this bigger than what it is right now for me. I want to make it into a business. I want to make it into a conglomerate. I want to make it into a media empire. I want it to be, I want it to get to a stage where um, it's just not me having to do things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, if anyone comes to my company, they kind of expect me alone to do the project. And I understand that because especially, because my my, uh, my work is kind of different. It's kind of uh, a particular. If you come in wanting a Kemi Adetiba visual, you would expect Kemi Adetiba to be at the other side of the, the lens. If someone gives Steven Spielberg a lot of money to shoot a movie, you would expect Steven Spielberg to be on the other side of the movie, not one of he, the people that he's, he, you know, he's hired in his, uh, in his company. Um, but I do want want to, to branch out, to expand, do a lot of uh, uh, TV content, branch into radio as well, and I just want to make it into a media empire. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from Inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.